This is Jonathan Mocksmith. In this uh, video, I'm going to show you how to make Rust Web Services using Springs MVC and then how to test it with Springs Test Web Framework. First thing I want to show you is my blog, jonathanmocksmith.com. Uh, but then I post all my examples on my blog, so you could go to my blog anytime and actually see the examples and refollow them just in case if I go too quick in the video or sometimes I might miss something in the video. Again, it's jonathanmocksmith.com and the one I'm going to go through right now is how to make a web service with Springs MVC and test with Springs Test Framework. Now, before I get into this, I want to just show the quick example. The sample brings up this little sample page and the key thing that we want to look at right now is the JSON stuff. If I go to this URL, the service will pass back a JSON user object with the user Regan Smith and the name Regan in it. If I would go to this URL, it would return another user object named Jonathan Mocksmith named Jonathan Mocksmith. And and I'm using a web browser just to make this very easy, but there is a tool called Poster that works very nicely that lets you put in the URL, does to get the, the post. And uh, and I'm not going to use it for this demo, but it does work very nicely. I know a lot of other people use it, but I'm not going to use it for this demo. So basically, let's go through of how quickly you could build web services with Springs MVC. The first thing I want to show you is my web config. Because I don't use XML anymore, I like to use Java config style in my Springs application. So this is my web config. As you can see, I'm setting up the base scan to check com.jonathansmith.mvc.web and and I have it as a configuration. And, and and I'm setting up the view return and I'm setting up any resource handlers. And it's just basically this is how I like to set up my web config uh, using Java config style in Springs. Now, I really don't like using XML. So this is basically that. Now, the next thing that you're going to go through is how do you get the web.xml uh, knowing which config now to use? If you go into your web XML, and this is my web XML, and, and if you look now where I make my Springs dispatcher servlet, right here in the config, I tell it to take my configs from here and also get my controllers from here. That's pretty much all you have to do. Now, I want to show you my JSON controller that is really easy to make. Again, Springs MVC makes it so easy to do web services with Rust. It's just very easy. I love doing them all day. Basically, I say anything that looks at slash JSON Okay, I'm going to use this controller. And, and then I say a request mapping, uh, whatever value comes in after that into the variable called name. And down here, you can see the path variable string name. And, and over here, I'm saying take the name. And actually, Springs will put it there. So basically, I get a string with name in it. And I come in. And I then just do a quick compare. This is a very easy controller just to show you that I could use two different names. I say, is it equals to Jonathan Smith? If so, make a new user object, Jonathan Mark Smith, and the name, and actually return it. And, and as you can see, my return type is a user. And the whole trick of this is do the response body. Um, and then do the same thing for Regan. Now, the trick is, if Regan or John's not found, I throw this resource not found exception. This is a custom exception. And and what I like to do here is if you go down, I have a cache for it. This looks for a exception. And it says if there finds a resource not found, I then actually send back an error object which says resource not found. This is all it takes to kind of get an object back in JSON to your web browser or to any client that could read JSON code or to check for the error and then send the error back. And, and as you can see in the HTTP status, I send back a not file status code too. And, and over here, I send back status codes, okay. If it's okay. Um, now to test your web service, I 
decided to use Spring's web, uh, sorry, Spring's test framework, which is very easy to do, and I found it very easy, and I liked it. And uh, again, this is actually my my class, and again, all this is on my blog, and it's also on GitHub. Uh, so you could go to GitHub and f download this project and run it, and, and I'll show you how to do that later on too. Basically, I say run with Spring's JUnit fork class runner. And then I tell it which config file to use. And then basically you can see I am, I'm auto wiring the web application content. And now on my startup, I actually set up my web content startup. Now on my test that I want to do, this get foo, it's basically very easy. I pass in the URL that I want to get. I'm checking for the type of media coming back. And I'm checking for the status code coming back. And then I want to test that the user object is equal to John Smith. If this is not true, this will not pass this test. And uh, Maven will tell you or else the test will tell you. And that's basically how easy it is to set up a web service inside uh, Springs MVC using Springs Test Framework. Now, if you want to get the project and actually know how to run it, just do a git clone from GitHub, and that's the project, Springs MVC dash rest dash test. See, do you to it? And then I actually have the Tomcat plugin in there. And so, well, what you have to do is an MVC Tomcat 7 dash run, and then point your browser to there. And that's basically what I have right here. You should get this page, and uh, you could run the examples and see. And this is pretty much all it takes to actually go through it takes a few minutes at all just to get a basic web service up and running and I like to show how to use tests so so again this is uh, Jonathan Mocksmith with how to make a web service with Springs MVC and test with Springs test if you have any other questions or concerns please feel free to find me on my website JonathanMocksmith.com or you can find me on Twitter or you could uh, Find me in GitHub. So I'm looking forward to hearing from you and seeing how you like my video. Thank you and have a nice night.